video game streamer Tyler One, known as the most toxic League of Legends player in North America, was indefinitely banned from playing League of Legends on any account in April 2016. In January 2018, he may get a shot at redemption. Tyler One revealed during a stream Monday night that League of Legends developer Riot Games will evaluate all of the League of Legends accounts he has made since his indefinite ban around 20 of which have individually been banned after Riot found out he created them to determine if the company should continue to uphold his current ban. If Tyler One's claims of being the most reformed League of Legends player in North America are to be believed, he'll be back to playing in three months. When this news hit the League of Legends Reddit on Monday, a Riot Games employee who goes by the Cactopus clarified that although Tyler won the person may be allowed to play League of Legends without getting his account immediately banned regardless of his actions, his accounts that have already been permanently banned will not be unbanned. To prove he has reformed himself, Riot will have to uncover no instances of him berating his teammates or opponents, no instances of him intentionally dying to enemy players known as feeding, and no instances of him going AFK away from keyboard during matches. Those three things are what landed Tyler One in hot water in the first place, fueled by his infamously short fist temper that could explode any time he didnt get to pick his favorite character Draven or his teammates didnt do something the way he wanted them to do it. Despite his penchant for raging, Tyler One was one of the top solo players in the world before getting banned, reaching into the top 20 by playing almost exclusively as Draven. The only instance that could they trigger this change of heart from Riot Games was the recent controversy with ex-Riot employee Aaron Sanjuro Rutledge saying he would be Gucci if Tyler One died of a drug overdose or testicular cancer in a League of Legends chat room earlier this month. Rutledge parted ways with Riot soon after and Riot the Cactopus apologized to Tyler One and the League of Legends community on behalf of Riot. In response to Rutledge's comments, Tyler One tweeted that he is disappointed that people still think poorly of him and that he has changed. It really sucks that some people still hold a massive grudge versus so old T1 and refuse to acknowledge I've changed. Lol Tyler One it lol underscore Tyler One October 1st 2017 We will see if his claims of being changed ring true to Riot in January.